Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am so fresh and so clean and so barefaced and we're gonna do a foundation wear test. Let me get straight to the point. I am doing a wear test. You follow me through the whole day. We see the good, the bad, the ugly, possibly. Sometimes we end up being surprised as a family here on my channel and things go so well and we're all like losing our minds like with the Catrice foundation. I still do wear that one. It's right behind me. I wanna, you know, shout out to that. I've been getting a lot of messages about foundation specifically lately and people ask about that one. Do you still love it? Yes. That one is extreme full coverage, which I happen to like. I'm trying to not like as much because I'm trying, like I have shared with you guys recently, to be more of a natural woman. I pulled you guys over on IG and I was like, should I try the new Dior Glow long wear on camera or bounce skin tint? It was close. It was a close tie, not gonna lie. I kind of wanted to do Dior just because it's Dior and it's a long wear formula. This does, however, on the side, I was surprised to see that it says long wear. It even has like a little watch kind of graphic on the side. Do you see? It says long wear, weightless feel, buildable coverage, and brightening. I really love their first foundation so much. So I, I feel like I should be more excited for this and I am excited. I just wanna point out really quickly that it's a dropper foundation. Now I did recently try on one from L'Oreal. Look at my sweatshirt, you guys. Do you remember this? I worked out this morning, I wore this. I'm having one of those days where I'm just cozy, it is rainy, I can't even be bothered to do my hair. I have a dry bar appointment. That was my chair, I assure you, that was my chair. I have a dry bar appointment tomorrow and I was starting to like contemplate washing my hair and I'm like, yeah, no, we're not doing it because we're getting the hair done tomorrow and it's raining outside, so. You guys are just gonna have to deal with my undone kind of cozy look today. Anyway, I recently tried this one on. This is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. I will link that video below. And I really liked it. I was so surprised at how much I liked this because it was not anywhere near full coverage, but it really did sink in the skin. It plumped the skin. It wore really well. And it just kind of smoothed everything out really nicely. My point is I don't really have one other than usually liquidy skin tint products disappoint me because I want this right here. All of this, I want that covered up. I would like this covered up, but I can go in and spot conceal. I'd like that covered up. So anyway, on IG, 55% want Beauty Blender, 45% want Dior. So it was close, it was really close. Um, but we're gonna go in with the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. I am using my new like incredible mirror. Ooh, this mirror is amazing. It has changed my makeup game. If it annoys you in the video, let me know, like the light. It's not cranked up all of the way, but um, it's the Ilios Lighting Mirror. I do have a discount code for this mirror. I never do that, but this mirror is expensive. I wanted to be able to give you guys some kind of a code. So I will list that in the description box and I will put a picture of it over on IG. It's the Ilios, Ilios? I'm probably not even saying it right. Lighting mirror, but you guys, this is probably my favorite mirror. Not probably, it is my favorite mirror. And I've you know, I used a lot of mirrors. <laughs> this is the best mirror ever. I don't wanna to dedicate too much time to this mirror in this video. I'll talk about it maybe over on IG, so go check that out. But let me know if the lighting, is it okay, is it not? Is it bugging you? Do you like it? Do you not? Let me know. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the Bounce Skin Tint. I'm gonna take like two droppers. It's pretty liquidy. So this claims to be a 12 hour wear product. That is good news. We're gonna put it to the test. This comes in 20 shades. It is 29 bucks and you get a full ounce in here. So not a bad price. It says it is a hydrating, light, medium, buildable coverage with a naturally radiant finish. All right, let's go in. Of course, I'm using a beauty blender. We had to, right? Thank you. 
shocked. Okay. Obviously much more liquidy than their foundation foundation, the first one they launched, but it has more coverage than I was anticipating. I have already primed. I am using my La Henriksen to hydrate and then my Tarte smoothing. Still the dynamic duo. This is not bad. In the coverage department, it is doing a good job. I'm gonna scooch the camera in just a little bit. Foundation, side, no foundation. I mean, it is evening everything out really beautifully. It doesn't feel heavy. It does not feel thick texture wise or just on the face at all. It's collecting in the line just a little bit here. Not too bad. How are we doing with the nose? This is a trouble zone. It is a danger zone for me. So I'm going to press that in there. Huh. I like it. I like the look of it. I like the finish. It is not matte. It is not oily, greasy, dewy. All right, I'm gonna do up the other side. I'm loving how this looks on the forehead. It's not exaggerating my lines here. It's not exaggerating dryness. It doesn't look makeup makeup-y or heavy, but it definitely is giving some nice coverage. So I am really pretty pleased with this. Not bad. I really thought it might only give a whisper of coverage and I was reading some reviews, which is not always the best thing to do. I always think seeing it in action and seeing the person and kind of understanding what they like out of a product is a better way to judge a product. Because when you read a review and someone's like, oh my gosh, zero coverage, Blech. like to me, what I think zero coverage is, I'm like, oh great, it's like a tinted moisturizer, but this is, absolutely more than that and I'm really enjoying the way it feels. I shouldn't be too surprised because I love their other foundation a lot. All right, so I'm gonna get to the rest of the face, fill in the brows, do a little lip, do a little that. We will fast forward through that and then I have to go to Target and run some errands and I will take you guys with me and we will see how this wears all, all, all day long. pretty amazed that in my bathroom lighting, which I don't necessarily love, my skin looks good today. I'm trying to like get it right in the mirror. Look how dewy, smooth, smooth, dewy. I'm really into this. I'm liking my makeup today. Yay. Not so much loving the hairdo, but it is what it is. The makeup looks good. The skin feels really nice. I, it is a little more um, radiant. I could probably use a little more powder, but it's raining outside. I'm off to Target on with the day. All right, you guys, this is the uh, last check-in before I put a mask on and potentially totally mess up the makeup. I didn't really think this through. I'm like, hey, foundation wear test, out and about with me, running errands. And I mean, maybe it's a good thing because I feel like right through here on me, you guys, <gasps> I sweat. 
wearing a mask. That's not cute, not attractive at all, but it's the truth. And like, I don't know why, like 2.2 seconds after my mask goes on, my nose is running every time. Like no exaggeration, I am not sick. I am well, vibrant, healthy, it will happen like in 2.2. So then I'm gonna be like, you know, messing the makeup up. But right now, man, it is a good makeup day. I'm in natural lighting, hello. So fresh and pretty and smooth and juicy and I'm liking it. I would really like for everyone to know that even in this crappy garbage fluorescent lighting, foundation still looks pretty good. What you can see of my face. Okay, now we can really see. <gasps> No, it looks good. I like it. I'm going to go to the toy section. I'm on a mission to buy my niece and nephew um, some birthday presents. So exciting times. There's so much going on here. I really want to get this, but I feel it might drive my sister nuts. Okay, serious question. Yes? On a scale from one to 10, how do you like my makeup today? I thought your makeup was really pretty today. Really? Yeah. The so, brows and everything? Everything. Side note, the brow, I dark brows. That on a scale of one to 10, everything, I don't know. Um, Imagine my hair is like so nice. I give it an eight and a half or a nine. <gasps> That's a good score, thank you. I will take it. I'm gonna eat dinner and then I'm gonna do a final check-in. I have not powdered. I have not touched up my lip. I have not redone anything from wearing a mask and like being out and about. Sorry, James is putting groceries away. Yeah, you guys, this is a wonderful foundation. I will do in front of the big lights, close up check-in soon. Wow. Can we just marvel and ooh and awe at the beauty right now? I mean, I am seriously looking forward to my dry bar appointment tomorrow. <laughs> it is now 9.56 and this has been on my face. This foundation, where are you at? Beauty Blender Bounce. You have been with me for 12 hours now. I made it fully to the 12 hour mark, which is what it claims. It says at 12 hours, it's over, it's done. It just basically says long wear up to 12 hours. And you know what? We made it. For the most part, you guys, this is like a absolutely great foundation. It is lightweight. It's not full, full coverage, but we expect that. It does not move around much. I was out and about today. I had the mask on, mask off, mask on. The nose thing that is just like so not attractive, you guys. Ugh, the mask, I'm like allergic to the fibers or something. I sneeze, I have snot coming out of my nose. It's so disgusting and I have not, I kid you not, I have not had one time with the mask where it has not done that. And then I literally like ruined my lipstick and it, oh, it's just so gross. Anyway, that's a whole nother topic. While I'm here, I actually am like looking in the monitor. I'm like, let's just get like a little bit of something on cause I've been eating, hanging out. I can't take myself seriously without a little lip on, you know what I'm saying? I'm a professional. It's been a day, a long, long day. Worst lip application of all time. Let's hear it. Hey, intense lip color gloss from Mally. I got some new stuff from her. I also, I'll list in the description box what I used, um, but I got this as well and I'm enjoying it so much. Let's pop on a little bit of the brightening powder just to see if this can be freshened up in a snap. I have a feeling it can. It feels like that kind of foundation that if you were wearing this all day after work, you're meeting up with friends, you're going on a date, you're, you wanna look refreshed and cute. This feels like you can go in and freshen it up and it does not swipe off or get crunchy bunchy. It might not be as full coverage as it was in the morning, but 
Yeah, that's not bad. I am totally going to wear this again and again, and I will update you all if I continue to love it so much. You'll probably see me reach for it a ton. I do like it better than the True Match Nude that I said I was enjoying. It's just a little more coveragey, a little more long wearing, and not as dewy. But this one, if you do have drier skin, I, it's a drugstore option that's phenomenal. If you want more full day wear tests, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, leave me those comments comments and I hope you're having a great one whatever you are doing I will see you all in my next video thanks for hanging out with me Mwah.